why this is going on. And believe me, folks, it's, it's happening for the exact reason that I just told you. Now, Hillary <laughs> was, was on a major network's news program this morning. I forget the exact name of the program because I'm not going to push them. They don't need any advertising from me. <laughs> They're getting plenty of it all over the place. And here, here, ladies and gentlemen, is what Hillary Clinton said. This is going to rock you. If you're hearing what I'm hearing, this is just literally going to rock you. See, she might have a clue. She might have a clue. Jerry Falwell is a rabid Zionist, and she's talking about Jerry Falwell as one of these people who's out to get them. Listen to this. I do believe that this is a battle. I mean, look at the very people who are involved in this. They have popped up in other settings. This is the great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right-wing conspiracy that has been conspiring against my husband since the day he announced for president. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? This vast right-wing conspiracy. Now, she went on, and I'm not going to play all of it, but she went on and talked about who these people are. Religious people, she talked about. And in specific, in one point, she was directly, even though she didn't say his name, she was directly referring to Jerry Falwell, who is one of the major powerful Zionists in this country. If you don't believe he's a Zionist, call him up and ask him. He'll tell you. This is what has happened. I don't think Bill Clinton has a clue. I think Hillary Clinton knows exactly what's going on. That's what I think. Hillary Clinton also did something else when she made that statement, ladies and gentlemen, and it's important that you understand this. Hillary Clinton has joined the ranks of those loony, fringe, element paranoids who think someone is always out to get them. That's right. In that startling announcement, she declared herself to be a conspiracy theorist. Wow. Do you know what I just said, ladies and gentlemen? Hillary Clinton is a conspiracy theorist. Hillary Clinton, on a major network morning program today, January 27th, claimed that the allegations of sexual misconduct against President Clinton and the allegations that he coached Monica Lewinsky to lie about it are the fruits of a vast right-wing conspiracy. <laughs> Hillary even theorized that those names involved in putting forth the allegations against her husband are right-wing, have popped up in similar situations in the past, and therefore constitute a right-wing conspiracy against her husband. And not just a right-wing conspiracy, in her own words, a vast right-wing conspiracy. This is amazing. And some of you just never get it, do you? I know some of you out there shaking your head saying, what the hell is he talking about? Well, folks, it was President Bill Clinton and Hillary who have condemned all conspiracy theory as being the manifestation of right-wing paranoia. And that makes this a most remarkable development. In the aftermath of the Waco massacre and the Oklahoma City bombing, the President and Hillary Clinton labeled conspiracy theorists, paranoid, right-wing extremists, fundamentalists, and white supremacists. That's right, you all heard it. You all heard it. The press then echoed the Clinton statements and urged the American people to ignore conspiracy theories because they, and I quote, are the product of the paranoid and twisted minds of right-wing extremists. <laughs> and now Hillary Clinton is a conspiracy theorist. 
Folks, does that make Hillary Clinton a paranoid, right-wing, extremist, fundamentalist, white supremacist with a twisted mind whom the public should ignore? Let me ask you that question again. Does this make Hillary Clinton, according to her own definition and the definition of the extreme left liberal press in this country, the communist news networks, does this make Hillary Clinton, according to their own definition, a paranoid right-wing extremist, fundamentalist, white supremacist with a twisted mind whom the public should ignore? Does it? Well, according to the definition of conspiracy theorists, forth by the liberal press and the Clintons themselves over the last several years, folks, that is exactly what she is and exactly what we should do. Now, that's not me telling you that's exactly what she is and exactly what we should do. That's according to the definition of conspiracy theorists put forth by the liberal press and the Clintons themselves over the last several years. That makes it exactly what she is and exactly what we should do. <laughs> it's too much, folks. I can't take it. I just, it's, 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 it's out of sight.